Uh, welcome back to Truly Truths on my rigged Patreon. I'm Daniel Whitson, known online as the Radiator, because I melt all the snowflakes. <sighs> Responding to one comment who said I'm not qualified to talk about politics, um, if you looked at my CV, you would see I have a competitive degree from Warwick and a master's in school. Skull sizes. Today I'm joined by anti PC comedian and bladesmith Benjamin Tice. Telling jokes and crafting daggers. The world's gone crazy, Benjamin. Oh, yeah. Uh, set your watches to 1984. <laughs> I see this interview on BBC Bias, and it's with this family who apparently has no food, and in the background, yeah, you can see they have windows. Plenty of cash for luxuries, then. How are you? How's your free speech? Just today, I get censored for saying the N-word in the privacy of my own YouTube channel. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you triggered? <laughs> Knowing the woke police, it will probably get us cancelled, but um, we're gonna try and get away with it anyway. It's called PC World. Hi there, welcome to PC World, where we're giving everything away to minorities. Could I get a computer? Just a simple, straightforward laptop. Well, uh, excuse me, sir. You can't say straightforward. You have to say trans forward. I don't understand. Do you not think there should be a group that focuses solely on the representation of minorities? There is one. It's called the BBC. <laughs> Did that trigger you? <laughs> 1984. If you're conservative online, the libtards call you a fascist. If you criticise Black Lives Matter, you're a fascist. If you enter a building to politely question an election, you're called a fascist. If you studied history, you'd see that's a Buddhist symbol of peace. Join us next week when we'll be talking to the spectator writer Taki about how, as usual, the left have misunderstood the SS. <laughs>